Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, what do we have before us? We have Maker's Mark Castring. Maker's Mark. Bacastric. 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 Big asterisk. Castring. <laughs> Castring. So, if you're familiar with the channel, you know that we've done some blind flights with Maker's Mark and the regular Maker's Mark, and it's coming last. It's coming, yeah. And admittedly, we've not been the biggest Maker's Mark fans. Uh, if you are, hey, more power, more power to more you. More power to you. My family loves it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and a lot of people do, and you can't deny the marketing. Sure, marketing yeah, they huge. have the best marketing, I think. Yeah. It's just the most recognizable, like when you think, when people see that red wax, it is so iconic, they know it's Maker's Mark, even if they don't drink bourbon. Right, this is cast strength. This is 112.2 proof of Maker's Mark. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice pop. I wasn't talking that time during your pop. No, you weren't. No. No. Fun fact, my mom is actually from the same area where Maker's Mark is made. There you go. Do a little pop-up video version of Uncork Games with little fun facts. Oh, can we do like a little pop-up Pam? Pop-up Pam. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just animate her mouth like on uh, South yeah, Park. Yeah, so we just like <laughs> rah, 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 rah. Uh, They would love that. Yeah. I would love that. All right, see, see what we got here. I mean, it has so much more character than what I'm yeah. used to when we talk about Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting some cinnamon and some nice, like, milky chocolate notes, you know, pretty mellow. Yeah, it might be cliche to say, for those that are in the know with the story, but it smells like bread, which is, you know, how they say that they got the recipe. They baked different bread recipes. Um, to figure out the mash bill for Maker's Mark. And I'm kind of getting that baked bread smell. Yeah, it does have a a baked smell to it. I also get like some toasted, but I really do get some, like a cinnamon candy or like a big red gum kind of cinnamon mm. to it. Just really faint and in there. Kind of like a red hot? A little bit, like I said, that faint chocolate, but there is, there are a lot of bread, like grainy notes and not in a young way, but in a bourbony balanced baked way. A bourbony balanced baked way. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. Putting the bees in. You All like right. the alliteration? I love the alliteration. Well, let's see how this does when you're drinking it, not just smelling it. Yeah, that has all the punch that I'm missing in regular makers. And <laughs> it's not so overwhelmingly sweet, which is again what I experience with regular makers. Yeah, it's adding the things that, that we find missing and it's taking away the things that we find less favorable. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more of a black pepper. I wasn't so much picking up on the nose, but I think on the palate it's kind of like a, yeah, the spice is like a black pepper. I 100% agree with that. Yeah. Um, still sort of the baking is in there, but not as not as pronounced. I, we, no. you know, we tasted other things that have been more like, wow, it's baking bread, or it's, it's yeah. banana nut bread, or it's, you know. No. Um, so that's so kind of missing in the taste. But you know, it's a little hotter than I thought it was gonna be. We've had a lot of things lately that have been between the 110 and you know 118 proof mm -hmm. kind of range, and I feel like this is one where I'm like 112. It feels like I would, if you blinded me, I would probably have guessed this at 120. Wow. I feel like it's got some oomph. It does have some oomph. I mean, instant Kentucky. Instant. Hug. Yeah. yeah. The finish isn't super duper long. No. Kind of a shorter finish. It is, but it almost kind of garries out with like a, a light cherry vanilla kind See, of. See, I was gonna say dry fruit. Okay, on, I get on like the, on the second taste. I on get the some finish. very light, you know, silky, silky gen gentle, gentle cherry, gentle, gentle and cherry, and then um, <laughs> a gentle cherry followed by a hint of vanilla. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that's kind of what I get on the way out of that. I will say that we've had the private select by them before too. Mm -hmm. And I thoroughly enjoy those because I think it's yes. really interesting the whole suspended staves thing. The, 40, the Maker's 46. Right. Yeah. But the, yeah, the private selection. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I really like that program and everything that I've tried that was part of that program, hmm. I have liked. I think when we had this before, we had already been drinking. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, this wasn't the first thing that we had. And when we had it, 
I, sh I remember being more enthusiastic, like, yes! Right. This is what I've been missing in, in Makers, and now uh, just having it, you know, first, first drink of the night, um, it's a little less impressive, mm -hmm. yet still enjoyable. Yes. It is still leaps and bounds to me better than the regular Makers. I mean, if you're just starting out and you're gonna go with regular makers, more power to you. Like, so many people start that way. And honestly, we should all thank brands like Makers for getting us into bourbon. Yeah. Like, thank you for introducing mm -hmm. us. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely at a point where I can't go back to that. Uh, it was never really my jam in the first place. Mm -hmm. And knowing that there's something like this out there from the same brand, like, they do branch out and give you more offerings for different palettes and different bourbon experience levels yes. is great to know. The more I drink on this, the more I'm getting the dried fruit and even like some dried banana. Banana, cherry. Definitely get the cherry. I maybe even get like a little orange zest, almost like mm. the, a little bit of that bitterness that you get from like a fruit rind. There's something really nice happening at the very beginning, right before that heat kind of hits the back of your throat, uh -huh. and I'm trying to put my finger on what that is. The finish sticks with you longer, the more that you drink it. <laughs> it's like a toasty. There's a toastiness yes. happening at the beginning. Yes. It's uh, like toasty, and all the fruit is like sun-dried. Yeah. You know, every everything is baked. Right. Again, going back to the, not, not so much the bread note, maybe some grain. It does go sort of towards the barrel notes at the end, but nothing extreme, nothing nutty. Um, yeah, this is totally not the nut. nut <laughs> no, 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 no. But I do get the sweetness that I think Makers, the regular Makers, is known for. Mm -hmm. Just a lot more subtle. A lot more subtle, and with a lot of other more interesting flavors to kind of back it up. A little bit of cinnamon, actually. I do. I still get the cinnamon a little bit. Yeah. Not as heavy as I did on the nose. We're gonna put some water with it. See how water reacts to it. Let's. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's always a good number. We're gonna let this sit and marry. We're gonna be back in a bit. So we will see you then, right after this. And we're back. We've given this some time here. And uh, see what we got. That really brought a floral note. It sure did. I was just gonna say, it's, it's fruit and floral city, almost hinging on perfume. It is very perfumey. It's like roses and some sort of candy. Woo! I like the nose better before. Agreed. <laughs> For sure. Now let's see what it did to the palette. Wow. Really brought that floral note. Front and center. Front and center. Yeah. Um, the heat doesn't hit you so hard. No. And I'm missing that really good vanilla cherry that I was getting yeah. before. I did like that it kind of kept that, where before I felt like this heat was hitting you after the first couple of seconds. Uh -huh. It kind of smoothed that out and made more of like an even bridge to the finish. I kind of like the flavors better. And by kind of, I mean, I really did like the flavors <laughs> better before the water. Yeah. So I think agree. I would rather have that kick and the flavor than the smooth transition. Agreed. But Agreed. Now let's talk about price. This is around 50 to $60. <laughs> Um, I think <laughs> I make that face like we don't do this all the time. <laughs> I think 55 is what I mm -hmm. got it for, but you know, price is very sure. from place to place. Um, for 112.2, and for giving me a version of makers that I enjoy, I mm -hmm. think that's a a, a feat mm -hmm. that I would definitely pay more money for. So, 50, 55 dollars. I say if makers is your jam. I definitely recommend. I think you need to try this if you haven't already. Um, regardless if you're a fan of high proof or not, I say, you know, try it like it would be straight out of the barrel. And if you're like, whoa, that's way too strong, I like my regular makers, guess what? You can put a cube of ice in it. Or you can put some water in it. Yeah, or some water, whatever you want. And proof it down, you know, you can, well, let's see what it might be at around 100, mm -hmm. or around 95, or around 90, now you're back to regular makers. But you've got a lot more than what you would have. Sure. But you did pay more for it, so it's gonna equal out. Uh, what about you on the old Is recommend? Is that a recommend? That's a recommend for me. That's a recommend? Yeah. You know, I think that everyone should try this once. 
Mm -hmm. I think it is, like you said, I think it's a big, bold statement from makers to put this out. I think there's a lot of interesting flavor going on. You're getting a high proof. You know, there's lots of other things that are in the same proof range that are about the same price, like Noah's Mill is about the same price, and it's 115 What? Probably more uh, in our flavor profile. More in our flavor profile. Old Forester 1920, a little bit more, about the same proof-ish, same range. Um, so, you know, there are other things I would probably pick first. Same. Flavor profile wise. This Same. is, like I said, a tasty, unique, fun ride. <laughs> Even though there are things that I really like as well that are a bit cheaper, like Wild Turkey Rare Breed that are in the higher proof too. Mm -hmm. I do think that you should try this once. So I know we say this all the time. I think you should own a bottle just at least one time. Um, if, if nothing else, you know it's a crowd pleaser because it's makers and it will serve a good purpose. Correct. But I think you will also enjoy it. I gotta recommend it. Mm -hmm. Just for that, just for that one time at least. Yeah. Because you gotta explore. I think, I think yeah, you should try it. Get it at a bar if you're not sure. We say that go. a lot. <laughs> we do. What we also say a lot is thanks for joining us. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell notifications to know when we put out our bi-leakly, bi -leakly videos. They just leak out. That's they, disgusting. They leak out. But that that was a good lead-in destroyed by... <laughs> by not being able to speak <laughs> That's correct. correctly. Um, Sarah, what else? Where, where can they find things? Well, you can shop on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. And you can find some of the fun glassware that we use. Uh, we don't currently have Glen Karens on there, but we, we do. We do, actually. We do have Glen Karens on there because she got out of them and I didn't know. <laughs> um, we also have the Tribeca glasses that we use a lot of the times with our flights some bar mats, some little sticky stickers that st st stickers do stick um, for, again, build your own flight. Um, and all the things that we normally use. Yes, just basically all the things <laughs> so, we normally use. So and some of long. our favorite things that we don't show you, like drive yes. tracks and things like that. And books and what's And books. Uh, and then lastly, you can become one of our patrons uh, at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. Just go there, look at the different levels and all the different things that you can get and interact with us and so on and so forth. And other lastly, follow us on all the social media at Spurbanite. That's the real lastly. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Don't do it. No, it's a mess. I don't like it. When you do it that way, you look like Wolverine. You're scary.